What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a stall team for Regulation D. This team features Pokemon like Lemora with Mortal Spin and Gargoyle Knackle with Salt Cure. Should be a fun one, should have some nice slow paced battles, and hopefully we get to stall out our opponents and grab some wins for you guys. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. We actually recently just hit 21,000 subscribers on the channel. Huge shout out to all my subscribers. Seriously, thank you guys so much for helping me hit that milestone. Cannot wait to climb even more with you guys. But uh, Fluttermane's gonna be your first Pokemon for today's team preview. Can't go wrong with it with Protosynthesis and Booster Energy. Then Moveset is straight up normal. That's a Gleam Shadow Ball. Moonblast Protect. Nothing too crazy, just a strong Fluttermane right there. In our second slot, we got Amoongus with Regenerator and the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Spore, Rage Powder, Pollen Puff, and Protect. In our third slot, we got Glamora, and I absolutely love Glamora for stall teams. It's got Mortal Spin, which actually poisons both ally, or not ally Pokemon, both opposing Pokemon, and also has Power Gem, Stealth Rocks, Earth Power, and Toxic Debris as its ability. Really like this Pokemon for setting up the poisons, it's great with that Focus Sash as well. We got Gargonackle in our fourth slot, very bulky Pokemon, and can recover a ton of HP with Recover, and Leftovers with one move. Got Salt Cure, Wide Guard, and Protect as its other three moves, and then Purifying Salt as its ability. In our fifth slot, we can set up this team and make it even more bulkier with this Light Clay Grim Snarl. It is Prankster with Thunder Wave, Spirit Break, Reflect, and Light Screen. Final Pokemon is going to be Cresselia. Trick Room is going to be very, very well with some of these Pokemon, like a Mook's Gargle Knuckle, and Cresselia is here to set it. It's got Levitate alongside with the Mental Herb, and it's rocking Ally Switch, Lunar Blessing, Moon Blast, and Trick Room. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Not the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Gargle Knuckle and Glamora Regulation D stall team. We're hopping into our first match, and we're going up against an Ampharos team. And Ampharos is such a cool Pokemon that was, uh, put out in Scarlet and Violet. Not put out, but brought back in Scarlet and Violet. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Ready to burst it. They also have Charizard alongside with Twerkle, so nice lovely Sun combo. Then the Rock and Storm Drain, Gastron, Grimmsnarl, and Shen Pao. Who should we lead? How should we go into this? Um, I feel as they could definitely just take Weather from me and kind of get the ball rolling from there. So I kind of want to go into a Pokemon maybe like Lemura. And then on top of that, maybe just start setting up screens. Because I'm telling you, stall is going to be great for us. The stall game is going to be great. I can bring Gargoyle Knackle in the back end. And then last but not least, probably a Pokemon like Fluttermane, especially since we don't want to pop the Trick Room, would be good for us. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go in with Fluttermane. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I'm kind of just looking to set up a Mortal Spin turn one, maybe set up some screens as well. Could be really good. And then just uh, kind of taking the battle from there. It really depends what our opponent does or who they end up leading for us to make a play. So we'll see. We shall see. I could actually let guard run out, just in case the, uh, the Torque on Charizard came out. Just so I have wide guard options, but they end up not bringing in the fire Pokemon, so I'm cool with this. Chen Pao's going to come out here alongside with Grimstrong. And from here, yeah, I'm just going to set up the nice little Moral Spin. I'm going to start putting some poisons across the board, and I'm just going to set up a Reflect for a team. Just to neutralize some of this damage. We're hoping this Grimstrong is not a fake out Grimstrong, because that could do me a little, just a tad bit dirty, right? Just a tad dirty. So we'll see what they want to do. They're going to end up terrestrializing turn one. But I'm curious to see what type they're going to terrestrialize into. There's no way this thing's poison, right? It's not happening. It's ice, so it's looking to do some big time damage. Leave me alone. Knock it off. That's enough out of you, Shen Pao. He's looking to do some big time damage with Ice Spinner. They're going to set up a Reflect, and then I'm going to set up a Reflect. That's fine by me. And we're going to be guaranteeing this Moral Spin because I do have Focus Ash. And if they are going to the Glamora, we, would, we don't mind that. They're going to break my screen first of all. Wow, you got Psychic Fangs. Of course you got Psychic Fangs. But I do set up the Toxic Debris, which is big time. So now I got Toxic Debris out and about. Um, Moral Spin is going to fly here, and it is going to poison both of them, which I love. Love a nice little double poison. We got the double P, the double poison out and about, and from here we kind of just want to start tackling in the Shen Pao. Hmm. I would love to set up like Stealth Rocks. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't, I don't think we can. He's going to take out my Glamora. We're just going to go from there. Psychic Fang is scary though. <laughs> it is scary. <laughs> it's so scary. But I mean, if I can get off a of Power Gem, that could be good. And from here, I think we're just going to Spirit Break and we're just going to constantly do some damage to Shen Pao. Because he's really one of the only Pokemon I'm worried about. 
We got Toxic Debris set up. We got both of these guys poisoned. We're going to start slowly chunking up some damage onto these guys. But of course, we're going up against a Shen Pao with Psychic Bangs. It just does me so wrong, right? It does me so wrong. But he ends up setting up a Light Screen and he goes for an Ice Spinner. Into who? Into Grimstarl? I would love that. I don't mind that. It is into Grimstarl. We're able to soak and now we can get off this Power Gem. So can Power Gem KO? Does KO. Yo, Glimora getting things started off hot here. I'm surprised they didn't just go like Spear Break into Glamora and Ice Spinner into Grimstarl. I'm really surprised they allowed my my Pokemon to get some more turns. So Poison is now going to take out Grimstarl. We're going to force out the other two Pokemon. Toxic Tabree is going to set up Poisons on those guys. And now I can set up screens for my uh, Gargle Knack on the back end. Love it. I love it. I love it. Hopefully uh, both Pokemon that come out for the opposing Pokemon side are same attack typing. So I can only set up one screen. So let's see. Charizard comes out here. And is it going to be Torkoal? Because I would love to just set up a late screen and kind of go from there. It is. Cool. So now I can set up a late screen. Torkoal is going to get poisoned. I don't think Charizard gets poisoned because it's in the air. I mean, that's fine by me. And we'll go from there. Okay, right, so Torkoal gets the poison. I'm cool with that. I still have Terra. And, I mean, if I can get off a Mortal Spin and poison the Charizard. Actually, I'd rather just Power Gem the Charizard <laughs> more so than anything. And set up this light screen. Cool. I like where we're sitting. I do like where we're sitting. But of course that Shen Pao had Psychic Bang. He's doing me dirty for a little bit, taking away my screens. But out comes Heat Wave. He's gonna pick up the KO and Torkoal Pride is going for an eruption at the same time. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I am fine with that. And they already, did they Terrasalize, right? Did they Terrasalize? I'm trying to remember. I can't even remember what Pokemon they put out in the field. It's so weird because I have such a good memory on like it like outside of this game. Like every other game, I have a fine memory. It's just when I'm playing this game, I forget little things. And it's so weird. It is so weird to me because I have such a good memory. But I luckily I could check if they use Terra. If you guys do not know how, you just hit the plus button and it'll show you all Terrasalized mons. But I know the answer now. I remember. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm just going to show, show you guys. It's right there. Shen Pao Terrastalize into that ice typing. See it? So, yeah. If you guys are ever wondering like me, you guys can just do that. But I bring out Fluttermane. I bring out Gargonackle. Um, I could go for a wide guard, which would be a good turn. I think I have to go for a wide guard. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to wide guard and... I'm just going to protect. Actually, no. Why would I protect if I'm wide guard? Hmm. I don't even need a Terrastalize. I'm just going to Shadow Ball into the Charizard. Let's see how this one plays out here. So I'm going to Wide Guard. Could be going into an Earth Power enemy. I still think we're kind of we're thriving here, right? Shadow Ball is going to fly. It showed me the Heat Wave at least. Heat Wave or Eruption. Give me one of them. Solar Beam. Oh, wow. We might have messed up. We just have might have messed up. Should be able to soak. Yeah, we do end up soaking that. But if you're doubling down to Gargon Apple, it could be a little bit of an issue. You are. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a tad bit scary. Just a tad bit scary. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and lie. This is a tad bit scary. But he's going to take some solar power damage. Poison's going to start chunking up the Torkoal, which is good. And how many turns is left in Sun? Because I can protect this turn and then Terrasalize next turn if need be. We got three. So I can actually solar power kill Charizard here, which I am going to do. And I'm going to let the poison chunk up Torkoal a little bit. And I really made that play. Man, dude. They read my wide guard. They read my wide guard, which is a smart play. I should have just salt cured into uh, Torkoal, which would have been huge. If I salt cured into Torkoal, this, this would just be wraps. But now I have a tough little matchup on my hand. Torkoal's really annoying. It goes for a rock slide. Now they're going for the double hitting moves, right? Just to rub it in my face. Just to rub it in my face. Solar power is going to KO the Charizard. That's big time. Torkoal is sitting here. A little bit of Torkoal action, eh? Little Torkoal. Little Torkoal. Um, do I Terrastalize? Does it really matter if I do? I think we do just uh, put us into a solo typing. And Shadow Ball is going to do the most damage. So, I'm going to Terrastalize. Go for a nice little Shadow Ball. We should be able to eat up whatever Torkoal has to offer. And if we do, that should win us the game. We just can't get one shot at it, right? 
That's the only way we lose this game, is if we get one shot here. But Fluttermane should be good, because I should be able to attack, do some damage if it doesn't KO, protect, get another poison chance, and then outspeed again to get another shot off. But Shadow Ball's gonna fly here. I don't think it's gonna KO, but it should do a nice chunk of damage. Yeah, it brings him down to that, and he ends up going for Rock Slide, which we eat up all day. Cool. So maybe I over... I over, uh... Well, I kind of thought we were going to lose that, but we kind of had that one locked up. But there it is. Torkoal dies out to the poison. The stall team prevails in match number one. First match went perfectly. Should have went into that salt cure with Gargonackle, but we still pulled off that win with Fluttermane in the back end. But we're hopping into our second match and going up against a Hydreigon team. Another Pokemon that I haven't seen on the rank ladder in a while. But they also have Urshifu and Dondozo and Tatsugiri. And those Pokemon right there are going to be rather annoying, right? They're very, very strong. They hit like a truck. They are going to be super effective onto my both of my stall Pokemon. So, screens are going to be our friend. I'm definitely going to bring out Grimmsnarl. So that's who I'm going to lean. I'm going to go Grimmsnarl here, and I think I'm just going to go Glamora. I think I am going to end up leaning Gl Glamora. I got the nice little Grass Terra if the Water Pokemon are here, and we can kind of just go from there. So I'm going to go into them too, and I'm also going to go into Fluttermane. And then last but not least, I just think Garbodonk is going to be the play. I think we go into same squad, same order. Look to go back to back for you guys. Like I said, the typing is a little weird, but if I can set up some nice little stall stuff, woo, we can get going good. We can get going good. Because Salt Cure and Poison when Gargle Knuckles out on the field is so nice. Especially with screen set up behind him. You can constantly recover, you can protect, just let the chip damage do its thing. But Tornadus and Urshifu are going to come out here turn one. Um, Okay, that's not too bad. I think that they are going to go after my Glamora. So I am going to end up doing this. I'm going to end up terrestrializing here. And do I set up a Stealth Rocks? Or do I just Mortal Spin? I think I'm just going to Mortal Spin. Just so I have a Poison on Tornadus. I would love to set up a Stealth Rocks. But I really do think he goes. He ends up going for a, what's it called? A uh, Surgeon Strikes into Mike Lamora. But he ends up terrestrializing here. Probably straight water. No, a Dark type. Is this a Dark Urshifu? Hold up. I'm confused. Is this Dark Urshifu? I think it is. I got my Urshifu's mixed up. I think I got my Urshifu's mixed up. This is definitely a Dark Urshifu. <laughs> but it's fine. I'm going to throw a Poison across the field and I'm Terrasalizing. Just so the fighting move can't KO me. But I thought it was Water, so I mean, that, I guess that kind of works. Hopefully no Bleak Wind Storm comes out here. He ends up trying to taunt me. And it doesn't affect me. Come on, you're better than that. Wicked Blow is going to come through here. That is scary, but I should be able to soak that. I have Sash anyway. So the terror type was there was no need for it. There was no need. But cool, we set some nice little toxic debris. We start getting after it. Moral spin's gonna fly out here. And we're gonna do some nice little poison damage. We got some poison damage on the field. How much is spirit break gonna do? We don't poison the what's it called? That hurts the soul. The tornadoes because that's cobra cloak. That does hurt. So poison gonna chip up a little bit. We're doing some nice damage over there, and did I set up the screens? I mean, the screen isn't really going to do anything. I could Thunder Wave the Tornadus. And set up screen next turn. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to pull off the Stealth Rocks here. The Thunder Wave's going to come out here. It's going to go after the Tornadus. There's true. Probably going to take out my Glamour, right? Are you going after Grimstarl? Go after Grimstarl. Cool, he does. And I can get off these stealth rocks now. Now we got some rocks of stealth out here. We love it. We love the stealth rocks. <laughs> we got stealth rocks and uh, poison barbs out there. Leakland Storm is going to fly. It does end up connecting, which kind of hurts. And we'll go from there. I mean, I just bring out Fluttermane here, right? Should be able to eat up a sucker punch. I'll set up the reflect. We can go from there. Ooh. Or I could just protect. Well, the prote mm. I don't think protect supply. So I'm going to go on the flutter me here. I am going to set up the reflect. Do I go reflect, protect? Mm, maybe? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I set up reflect. And ch 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 just add some beam. Yeah, let's just gleam up here. I should be fast on the field. And like I said, they're probably going to go for a sucker punch, which we should be able to eat up, especially if we set up this reflect. 
But I still have Gargle Knack on the back end. I got the Poison Barbs out there. I got the, uh, the Stealth Rock set up, which is good. So when they swap in there, we're going to deal some damage that way as well. And if they want to start swap Pokemon, that's fine by me. And he ends up Sucker Punching me. And what? Wait a minute. That came out before my Reflect, which is a little ridiculous. But they made no animation, which was totally weird. That was weird, right? That was definitely weird. But I ended up taking out Urshifu. Hopefully Tornadoes can be paralyzed this turn, because that'd be big time for us. But we can kind of go from there. But chances are he's going to pick up a KO onto me. Maybe a double KO. Let's see. Oh, he is paralyzed. Woo! We like that. We like that. We like that a lot. He is paralyzed. So Don Dozo comes out here. And this is going to be nice, because we get a nice little poison on him. Could be lumbered. Some of them are lumped. Some of them are lumped. And he's not. And then we get the stones onto him as well. That's actually really good for me. So I already have Reflect up. If I had to guess, back end Pokemon is going to be Tatsu. So I'm just going to set up this light screen. And uh, he might just hard swap at, out, right? Hmm. And I guess I'll go for Dazzle Gleam. Let's see, is he going to swap? No, he's going to protect. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine. This thing sets up a rain dance, which is terrifying. Because Gargi is not looking good. I need it. I need a Gargi's Terra. I wish I would have saved my Terra for Gargonackle. Put him way better for us. But Gleam's going to fly here. It is going to end up KOing. Tornadus. And now Tatsugiri is going to come out here. In the rain, ooh. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think Gargi can survive. Even through a Reflect. It would be nice for it. Because I would love to be able to get off like a Salt here and just start slowly chipping up some damage, but... A little bit of an issue. But Tatsu Gear is going to come out here. Um... Hmm. I think I just protect Flutter Main. Let the Poison chip through. And let Grimstone all potentially die here. And start going from there. But he's going to Commander up. Both of them are going to be poisoned. And this is tough. Going up against this thing. Real tough. Like I said, the water Pokemon are going to be a pain. Because I thought it was water Urshifu. That's why I Terrastalized. Hmm. So from here, I mean, Spirit Break's obviously going to be replaced. So I'm going to Spirit Break, and I'm just going to protect this thing. Because maybe, just maybe, he ends up going after Flutter Main. And we soak up, and we get off some more turns. EQ's coming out here, so EQ's a little scary. But I get to keep my Flutter Main, which is good. I get to keep Flutter Main. Grimstarl's gonna die here. I have screens for as long as I can. And actually, Grimstarl survives. We like that. Grimstarl survived. But I'm doing like 5 damage. I'm doing like 5 damage. This sucks, man. This really does suck. Because I didn't want Gargonacle to be alone. I really, I kind of wanted Grimstarl to die out there. The Poison Gun Chunk up. Tatsugiri is going to take some poison damage as well. Um, we got to go for Spirit Break and Moonblast now. Moonblast is going to do the most damage for us. Yep, let's do it. Let's see how much damage we can do. Moonblast flying. Does a nice chunk. And EQ is going to fly here. Can you end up surviving this? Fluttermane? Probably not, right? Yeah, 34 is not happening. Yeah. I need my Terra. Unless Gargi somehow survives this wave crash here. I highly doubt it though. I highly doubt this thing survives a wave crash. We gotta see how many turns this is in a reflect and all that. I highly doubt he survives a wave crash. He's gotta be rocking wave crash. Let's see, how many turns is left and everything? So, Reflex 4, Rain is 2. Hmm. We just gotta go for a Salt Gear here. Yeah, we gotta go for it. I think he just wave crashes and kills me. Waterfall, can you eat this? You do! Hold up! Wait a minute. I flinch? Come on with that. I flinch? Yo, hold up. That ain't cool. That ain't right. That is definitely not right. Don Dozo should be dead. 
I should be able to protect next turn and have this thing dead. I flinched to a waterfall? Hold up. I wonder how close this match actually would have been. Because then I would have protected this next turn, got a little bit more leftovers HP, wasted out the rain, and I think maybe Tatsugiri maybe shouldn't have. Maybe still would have won, but like, oh my lord. I guess I'll go for. I guess I'm gonna constantly protect till till we get a KO, right? We definitely had a real shot at that. If I didn't flinch to a waterfall, get on out of here with that. That's unheard of. It's not unheard of, but it's a low chance. It's like 10%, I think. It's terrible. It's terrible. But I, but I would have Tatsugiri super super low. And this thing didn't have leftovers. He definitely would have been dead by now. But oh. My. Oh, that hurts. That really does hurt. We're slowly putting Dondozo out. I'm gonna go for double protect here. Tatsu's losing some HP here. We're, de <laughs> we're definitely going for double protect. But I'll only hope. And of course, they get a flinch, but we can't land a nice little double protect. Hurts the soul. Waterfall's gonna come out here. Take out my Dondozo. And I feel as we had a shot there. We definitely did. It would have came down probably in their favor, but still. I would have liked to see how it played out. Final matches here, and we're sitting one and one. Would have loved to see how that battle played out here, but we're going up against a Crest and Ursaloon team, alongside with Urshfu and then Grassy Seed, uh, Glarian Zapdos with Rillaboom and Iron Hand. So very strong team. They can go into multiple different Pokemon here. They can lead the Ursaluna and the Crest. They can also lead the uh, Bird and Rillaboom, who I think they're gonna lead. So from here, I kind of wanna just go with Lemur again. I think Lemur is a great lead for a lot of these Pokemon. So I think I'm going to end up leading it. Lamore, do I lead you? I'm sorry, Grimmy. Get the screens cooking. I'm about it. I'm about it, y'all. I'm pretty sure I kind of want to go same team here. Or I can go Crest to the back end because we can always set Trick Room, which would be nice. Just play Stall from there. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're going to look to set up some screens. We're going to look to get the whole Stall thing cooking, right? Poison's out there. Alongside with the, uh, hopefully they hit me with a physical attack move. Set up the Toxic Debris. And maybe later with the crest, I could just pop a nice little trick room. Let my Gargi throw some salt cures around. Just get cooking from there. But Zapdos and Rillaboom are going to be the lead. And like I said, I don't mind this lead right here. I'm a bit scared of the fighting move. I I'm not going to say you're lying. I'm a bit scared of the fighting move. So I might Terrasilize Glamour here. Right? Terrasilizing Glamour could be good. Could definitely be good. Yeah, we are going to ask Slice Glamora. Actually, no, I'm not. I have Sash. That should be good. They want to fake me out and set the debris. That's fine. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go after Zapdos with the Spirit Break. Or, you know what? I'll just set up Reflect. Two physical attackers. Let's get the screens out of here. He's going to end up terrestrializing the bird. Right? The bird. Is that going to be a flying bird? That's going to be a straight electric bird. Nice little electric bird. He turns into electric type, which is fine by me. I don't think he's using an electric move. He's going to fake out my Grimstarl. Okay, so Grimstarl gets faked out. We'll go with that Mortal Spin. Let's just know we outspeed as well, and we get off some poisons. Some lovely little poisons. So as long as Grimstarl can eat up the shot that I think Zapdos is throwing over, I, I kind of like where we're at, because I can get off for fuck next turn. Acrobatics on the end. Ken, I love you. I love you. Now I'm just gonna set up a nice little stealth rocks action. Um, set up reflect. Go from there. So one of them are gonna have to hit my Glamora, right? Soon enough, one of them are gonna have to hit my Glamora. But yes, yeah, from here, I'm setting up the stealth rocks and I'm just gonna set up the reflect. So we're looking to get off some screens. If Grimstar can survive, maybe another turn, that could be good. And why didn't my animation come out? What is up with that? You guys saw that, right? No animation for Reflect. Grimstar just kind of like did like a buff animation, but the screen didn't come out. It looks so weird. Thunder's Kick's going to come through here. That's looking really scary. And my Grimstar is able to eat. Get a defense drop, though. Sopa Tantra's going to come out here. And that is going to be more, which is fine because now the debris should be out here. Cool. So I got stealth rocks, I got debris, I got some screens up. No cool my back end Pokemon. I feel as I can totally stall out a lot of these guys. Poison, all that good stuff. Okay. 
And I still have my terror type for Gargi. Or Gargi action. So from here, we gotta see what other Pokemon he has. Do they have any special attackers? Only Crest. Is it worth setting off a light train? I don't think so. So from here, I'm gonna go Earth Power. And I'm just going to. I'm gonna double down to zap this here. I'm gonna earth power here. Do some nice big damage. Acrobat's gonna fly here. And he can pick up the double KO all day. And he's gonna have to hit my Glamore again with a physical attack move, which is gonna set more. Oh, and you U turn. You U turn. That's a bad move. I got rocks out there. I got rocks. I got rocks. And you give my Glamore another turn. Give him my Glamour another lovely turn. I wish I had Protect on Glamour. Let's see who they end up going into. It's going to be Crest. That's totally fine. I want Trick Room out here, so. They're going to my own Crest. Hmm. I could actually just go into Gargi and Salt Cure the Crest right now. And of course, that thing is Levity. It's so annoying to deal with. But yeah, I'm just going to go into Gargi here. I think now it's going to be the time to thrash slash, just in case he wants to go for a thunderous kick into me. But... I'm just going to power gem this slot, just in case he wants to ally switch. And I'll salt cure this slot. Do I thrash slash here? I'm going to save my tower. I'm saving my tower right now. Cool, he ends up detecting. So the tech comes out here. You're going to end up maybe dying to poison here. It's going to be kind of close. Power gem's going to get blocked, and we're going to throw a nice lovely salt cure over onto the crest. Lunar Blessing, okay. A little bit of HP action. I mean, that's fine, I think uh, another Earth Power can still KO the Zapdos. Yeah, cool. Now you just let me get some cures off. Some salt cures. And if you want to hard swap out, you're just gonna start taking Stealth Rock damage and all your other Pokemon are gonna, gonna be poisoned. So I'm playing this one slow. I got I got Crest for myself too, which is good. I also have Crest for myself. I'm Salt here and get some HP back, and from here, I am just going to Earth Power this slot. And on top of that, I'm just going to Salt Cure this slot again, just in case he wants to swap the Crest, you never know. But he doesn't swap the Crest, Earth Power comes out, it picks up the KO onto you. And yo, does Lunar Blessing heal the poison? It heals po- wait a minute! Get, get on out of here with that! I should have maybe Mortal Spin the Crest here. Does that take off Soul Cure? I'm so curious. I'm so curious. It takes off the poisons, man. That's absurd. That is absurd. So the grass is finally gone. That actually benefits us. That's wild. I did not know that. And it kind of hurts my soul. Them now figuring this out. But Robo is going to come out here. It is going to take poison damage and uh, stealth rocks he's gonna surge up surge is back and now is gonna be time I terrestrialize and I'm gonna sulk here back into the crest I'm just gonna sulk here real man. this I'm so curious to see if Lunar Blessing takes off Salt Cure. Don't terrestrialize him for two reasons. One, he could be faking me out here. Two, he can be going for like a wood hammer. And I like it. So the ghost tower is gonna pop out from us. No way Lunar Blessing is gonna be annoying me. Fake out does come into the slots. So a good terror on our end. Definitely going for a Lunar Blessing here. And poisons are gonna come across the board. Chill. Chill. Rocky Helmet doing damage to me. He's gonna end up going for a second. That's fine by me. And what is up with this? I think like the animations are acting weird right now. Salt Cure's gonna fly here. That one's working fine. But some of the animations are just not going well. So now we got Rillaboom being Salt Cured. He has a Citrus Berry. He's gonna be Poison and Salt Cured. Same thing with Crest, which is nice for us. I feel as we just have to start tackling down this crest. We don't want the Lunar Blessings and all that stuff doing me dirty. We just got so much going on here. Bunch going on. 
There's some nice little sulkier damage. And everyone's gonna get back some HP here too. <laughs> this is wild. This is wild. But I get to go into my crest. I kinda wish I had my uh I kinda wish I had my what's it called right now. My what is that Pokemon scene? Uh ch 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 can't even think of it. I can't even think of the name. My flutter bean. I really wish I had my flutter bean right now. But from here, uh I'm just gonna start tackling it into this crest slot. I'm just gonna constantly do some damage on the crest here. Luna Blast comes out here. Now, this, this, I think it takes off poison, correct? Let's see. Yeah, oh my lord. That's so beat, man. Ruins everything I'm trying to do. He's gotta go. We gotta get rid of that crest. Now, does that take off salt here? Is the real question. We'll see, depending on Rillaboom here. And he turns gonna come out here and poison the next Pokemon. And stones are gonna also dig in. So he actually gets rid of Salk here, and now I'm putting Salk here on him, and now he can fake me out. He's gonna fake out my crest. Um. <laughs> this is so annoying, man. This, this, I don't think this match is gonna end. And unless I can get rid of this crest, that's the only way. I just gotta constantly be doing damage to this thing. It's the only way I can win this match is if I get rid of the crest. It's the only way I can win. This is just simple. It's as simple as that. You gotta double down to the crest, do that, and just go for another salt here. And just keep going after it. Just have to keep going after it. Hopefully, it starts attacking me, right? I really wanted to. But he's probably gonna fake out my crest. I'm just gonna throw another salt here over there. And yeah, this one might be a long one. Lunar Blessing coming out here. So annoying. But how many, how many Lunar Blessings do they have? Cured of his poison. Oh, oh man. Moon Blast comes out here. No fake out. You're setting up a sword stance. And you're gonna heavy slam me. I'm able to soak. I'm salt here. I'm not sure if the, the Lunar Blessing cures the salt here. I'm not sure about that. But we're, we're getting after it. Crest has got to go. I don't think it's Rocket Protect. But Lunar Blast, they're running out of them. They're, they don't have many left. Right? Can't tell you how many they use, but they can't have too many left. But from here, I'm gonna Moon Blast, and I'm just gonna Salt Cure Crest again. I'm going, gonna constantly go after Crest here. Psychic comes out here. Fine. And my Special Defense drops. Good thing I have a lot of physical attackers here. Moon Blast gonna cook here, and I think we can do enough damage now. Ribble we'll soak that all day, which is big time. Can this Salt Cure finish off this Crest? Hopefully. How much more damage? Because then it could just Lunar Blast him. Might need another turn here. I'm getting back some nice little HP. Leftovers, grassy turning. Falkir comes out there, puts him on one HP. And reflect is gone. So now, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna double down on the crest again. <laughs> Just in case the Lunar blessing him again, we gotta get rid of him. Yeah, good thing I double down. Such a good match. Again, fake out Pokemon's gonna come here. Um I'm glad it's gonna fly. And we'll get rid of Crest finally this turn. Heavy Slam's gonna come out here and it's doing like nothing, which we love. Which we love. So now from here, I'm just gonna start salt curing the field. We're gonna have Rillaboom poisoned, which is huge. And on top of that, I'm just gonna start salt curing Pokemon. It seems to be that I'm not too worried about Iron Hands. He's not doing all that damage. So I'm gonna salt cure and Lunar Blessing next turn. And kinda just roll off from there. But finally, we get rid of the Crest. Does the salt cure and all that? Is doing us well. And we still have our stones, our poison barbs, and all that looking good. The real boom's gonna come out here. They can't lunar bust and just get rid of it now and annoy me. But stones are gonna dig in here. And yo, the terrain just ended and now it's coming back. They kept this thing on here for 15 turns? Or no, 10 turns it starts now. This is turn 11, I believe. This is the second time they reset it to surge. But from here, lunar bust is gonna be the play. Get some HP back from the squad and then just salt cure it onto. I mean, he could fake out the crest, or he could just start going for knockoffs, which would probably be my play. If I end up going for a Lunar Blessing, I'm fastest on the field. It's a little odd, right? It's definitely odd. The wood hammer's coming out here. I think I had Terra for Gargi, and wow, the damage. The damage output's high. I'm gonna wild charge me as well. I'm soaking. I'm a big boy. I'm a beefy boy. 
I'm a beefy boy. I'm real beefy. I came to play. I came to play. I'm win. I'm gonna win this match. <laughs> I'm here for the stall game. I love stall teams, man. I don't know what it is. I just love them. I get back leftovers. You're just giving me more HP with the strain. Leftovers, all that good stuff. Our opponent's probably so, so ticked off, yo. I be. I be, but still, I love playing solo teams. Ever since uh, Sword and Shield using Toxapec and solos, because originally I started off playing solo battles, and I loved them. But from here, I'm going to end up Moonblasting you and just protecting my uh, Guardian here. Because the poison, the combination of poison and salt here should get rid of real boom. Should be able to start chunking up some damage and just going after Iron Man here. Plus I can get some HP back. Ooh, a lovely crit. Woodhammer comes out here, we block, and then next turn after real boom dies, I can simply just Lunar Blessing, set up Salt here, and set up this win. Ooh, he ends up doubling down into me. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Come on, man, stall team for the win. I knew once, it, once I got rid of that crest, I had a hot shot at winning this battle. I finally got rid of it. Took me a while. I was just doubling down into it. I like the Lord, it, uh, most Crests don't rock protect because at that point they could just start protecting it. I would have probably got frustrated, left the match, and they would have had this easy win. But nah, man. I'm about it. I'm about the long game with the Salt King. I'm about it. Salt Cure ends up not KOing, which kind of hurts the soul. But from here, I should just go for a Moonblast and set up the Salt Cure. That's fine by me. Good thing Crest is fastest on the field. That's weird, right? You would think Robo would be faster than Crest, especially Crest is more of like a trick room setter. That's fine. Moonblast gonna fly here. Bye bye, Robo. Get on out of here. You guys can't heal the poisons now. Can't heal the poisons or salt cubes. Oh, Charge gonna fly here. We can soak that up. I know that for a fact. And we chilling. Set up a nice lovely salt here. Game set match. This was honestly such a good Terra. It stopped our weaknesses from grass moves, it stopped the fake outs, and it stopped our weaknesses from fighting moves that Iron Hand can throw. That's just big time for us. That's just a big time terror. Big time terror coming out from Gargi. But now we're just gonna slowly chip up this match. I mean, from here, it's Lunar Blessing all day. Uh, Lunar Blessing alongside with a. Uh, actually, playing this one smart. We'll just moon blast and on top of that just protect. But I think our opponent's just gonna cancel the match, right? I can definitely see that coming. But yeah, if I'm playing this one smart, like if I'm in if I'm playing like a tournament or something like that, or if I had money on this match, this would be my exact play. I'd protect the Gargi, gotta keep him alive, and I throw a moon blast. And then Lunar Blast the next turn. I know the speeds, I know everything. We have the upper hand now. The stall team's gonna prevail and grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record. Glad I got ourselves a winning record with, the, with this team. I got the showcase of Foley, especially in this third battle. We had Stealth Rocks up. We had Poisons out. We have Garganackle with Sulker. All of that good stuff. The Gargi. Gargi Naki. Yes, sir. So I end up protecting. He's just throwing the match. He just went for a fake out. <laughs> and it's just going to fail. Not going to Moon Blast. And look, 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 look. Where's my animation? There's no Moon Blast. There's no ball of moon shooting at the Iron Hands. This is my first time I'm experiencing this on the Rank Ladder. I remember like week one, the game was like glitchy, but the animations were fine. I've never had this. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are having a problem with this. I end up salt curing up, chipping up some damage, and then from here we go moon blast and another salt cure just to chip up, chip up damage. I could go for lunar blasting, but cancel the battle. We go two and one. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a winning record on the channel with this Gargonackle and Glamora Regulation D Salt team. Absolutely loved it. Pretty simple to use. You can set up the poisons, get going with the screens. The screens were a big part of this uh, this combo, too. And then on top of that, you throw some Stealth Rocks around, and then you get Gargonackle out there. Bulking up shots, Salt Curing around. It's pretty simple and pretty fun to use. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.